it's about noon on Sunday here, a couple of days into the, uh, uh, to, to the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, what a great start. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. All the work you guys have been doing on the forums has been fantastic and uh, sharing on the social media, amazing. We can see that that's where um, uh, that we're getting some traffic from. So um, you're really driving the Kickstarter. That's exactly what we want. Thanks very much. Um, I've got a little setup here. I've got uh, a game map and I want to show a little bit of flexibility that you can you can do using the um, the reversible roof and uh, floor tiles that will allow you to mess around with the mat a little bit. Um, hopefully not too long of a, uh, a video, I'm a bit notorious for really long videos. I've got my cup of tea though, which is probably a bad sign. Um, and um, uh, yeah, I want to focus you in on this. So, first off, what we've got here, we've got um, a nice little game mat set up. Um, uh, obviously I've not got any of the street items or anything like that, very, very basic just to kind of uh, demonstrate. A couple of buildings um, and we've got the game mat which is the classic T-shape and you really can just move this mat around. It's really good, you can, you can add another mat on here and you can add another mat on there and you can twist it so that you can have a straight roads, you can have just a straight roads with all buildings off one side um, and you can also then twist it so it goes around corners and you can make these big blocks in the middle, it's really kind of cool. So, um, but some people are like, well, I, I want a road that goes just around a corner, I just want a straight road, I don't want this bit of road right here. So, here's what we can do. On a setup like this with a couple of buildings, what you can do is you can use an ordinary roof tile, just very carefully slot that in there, to basically um, block off the the road okay now it, it looks a bit simple like that but if I if I use this as an, an idea and I pop that on there okay then you can see it comes sort of like a car parking because it's got that texture the texture is kind of like a tarmac -y kind of texture on the top um, and that's great because then you've got vehicles and and you can do all sorts of you know you could have a vehicle parked in here and it, and it gives you this kind of straight road, gives you a little bit of open area without any buildings, okay, um, which is really kind of cool because um, it just opens up the game a little bit. This could be maybe a, a, a supply area. So we could have like uh, a container in there and that would be something um, which I think we're not supposed to show that yet, but um, that kind of thing. This really, really does open it up. Um, and give you um, uh, lots of uh, flexibility basically. So there's one option. Now the other thing with that is is that you could then do the same over here. I can't, I can't really see what I'm doing here. There's a ladder in the way at the moment. But you can block off this as well so um, you could have like a dead end. Um, or we could we could move this. Whoop. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. We could move this over here. I can't slot it in. I can't see what I'm doing. It's like a little ladder or something there. So you can slot that in there, okay, and then you've got your, your junction this way and there could be a, a whole, whole stash of buildings over on this side of the map as well. Um, so that really works well. You can also place that on a corner, so if you wanted a, um, a complete corner area, uh, oops, if you wanted the complete corner area, you could have that kind of, you know, car park on the corner type thing. We could probably have some fancy bits on there, or you could use your totally cool sort of um, uh, makeshift barrier. And you can have also, and then you, this is all piled up with buildings, and uh, that would be really, really cool if you want that kind of area as well. Okay, so there's there's one option using the, uh, the floor tiles, uh, well, the roof tiles, to be precise. Um, let me just pop that back for a second. Okay, so there's one, one example. A sip of tea. Oh yeah, okay, so that's cool. But you are like, okay, well, that's cool, thank you very much, but I can see the flexibility, but I want a building that actually goes in here as well. Okay, so we can do that. We've got the floor, the, uh, the roof tile, that's fine. Let's just flip it and create a floor tile here. Do -do 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 -do. I've not got my clips on uh, my my holding clips on this one. 
I'm so lazy. It's it's uh, it's unreal. Okay. Um, and from here, you're like, okay, well, I can, you know, I can do something with this. I can, I can build up. So I want another little building in here. So I'm going to just move this out of the way completely. Okay. And now all I need to do is change clips here. I'm, I'm not going to do that for speed, but um, uh, so I'm just going to kind of rest this in the end of the the clips here as a as a very quick demo. Okay. Um, yeah. There you go. I've obviously not. Um, I've not. I'm not clipping this in because um, because I, I, I want it to be nice and nice and quick as it were. Okay. So. Um, and then scraping these figures off. Oh, careful with those hassle-free. They're gorgeous. Okay. Um, we we can then decide what we're going to do with this area. Okay. Um, and again, I'm not going to clip this in. I'm just going to rust it in here. Uh, I haven't put a thing on the top. So you've got that, which is really cool. Now I've got a straight road, and I've got the um, I've got the, the 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 buildings all along one side. The other side of the map is designed like that anyway, so I've got the same on that side, which is really, really cool. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pop a, a, a couple of add-ons and make them available be, so that you can get some additional floor tiles. We, we're giving you tons of walls now, and that's we really want to give you lots of walls, and then we're going to start giving you loads of extra uh, room items and loads of extra clutter that actually goes inside of this set. This is really important for us. Um, uh, we just want to build up your base sets um, as much as we possibly can. Um, the base sets are already massive. We absolutely do not hold back. Our first pledge, pledge is definitely a full box. Um, the, uh, we just want to give tons on top as well. So um, we're going to create an add-on which has got a couple of these uh, the roof tiles which are reversible for floor. So you can have the car parky thing going on or you can have um, a building where it's not technically supposed to be. Um, so we're going to do that and it's going to have a couple of those on it. It's also going to have a couple of um, these uh, smaller um, roof tiles uh, as well which though ours are not textured yet will be floor tiles on the other side. So you can put one on here, one on here, and you've got a, another little building that can go there. And again, you can then, you can dress that up nicely with a couple of fence panel -y kind of things going on um, and do whatever else um, that it is that you, you need to do in there. Um, that is really cool. That gives massive amounts of flexibility uh, to, to the way that you can build. And it means that the core game map becomes flexible as well. Doesn't mean that we're not going to try and do maybe some different mats as we try and stretch the genre a little bit more about that um, uh, further down the campaign. Um, but yeah, this will really add a lot more uh, flexibility uh, to the set, and you can, you, like I say, you can go in corners and all sorts of stuff. Okay, so that was the first thing I wanted to talk to you about. So we have an add-on for that that will be available um, soon from um, for, from our add-on section. The other thing is we um, we wanted to give you the, one of the other great things you can do is have if you've got a little bit more ruined areas of your building, you can really expand some of the buildings. So we're giving you lots of extra walls, but we want to give you some more ruined areas as well. Okay, so we're going to have a ruined pack, um, and in the ruined pack, you're going to get your ruined uh, floor tile. Okay, this one here, which is reversible. Okay. Um, uh, so you could have you, you know a couple of different patterns as it were, and of course you're going to get you're going to get all your uh, you're going to get a, a sort of a ton of these different ruined sections, um, and the the textures on these okay for the shops are very similar on both sides, uh, and then you've got the internal ones which are obviously completely internally ruined. Um, I've got that one, um, actually I've got a couple of internals, I haven't, got, I haven't got the other one here for some bizarre reason, it'd be like that but on both sides. Um, and then um, we've got the apartment ones which are really cool because that really lives at the top of your buildings, it's the top of the buildings that gets dam damaged in the apocalypse apparently, because that's what I always see. Um, and then um, yeah, those have got the internal textures on, on the inside 
Um, and these are quite good. That one's got a busted door on it. We've got a couple of busted windows with different designs as well. And um, yeah, and the straight wall as well, which is really cool. And, and that really means that with hardly any extra components, you can almost build another level. You just need a couple of apartment walls. If I grab um, a couple of apartment walls, grab that one. Got a little setup over here, um, so I can kind of um, I can kind of grab a couple of these walls like that, um, and I can start to build. Yeah, let's flip this over. I've got one without a uh, texture on it. Oh, prototypes, I don't know. So here we go. Um, if I'm going to build on another level, I I can put a couple of these here. Um, or if I've got if I've got busted walls, I've got the equivalent of probably just one wall, one wall wall amount, um, and that that kind of I've still got another level, and I can probably but do like some um, you know some some cool cool stuff inside as well, but not with that one, okay? And you can have like busted bits inside, and it gives you this whole other level on top. Um, and if I'm smart, I could um, grab some. Uh, internally bits as well. I'm going super fast. I didn't plan this bit that I'm talking about now. Uh, let's grab a, a clip like that. Do, 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 do. Uh, maybe chuck that bit on. And then I can really start to kind of, you know, build across. I can then grab my ruined floor tile piece here, which are liftable off as well. You've probably seen in the video. And then I can add you know, some, some some more bits kind of in the corner. If I grab the, the right ones, I haven't got them. Uh, I've, uh, I've got some more bits that you can add in the corner and you get another area of level. Now I've not used much components here, but I've still managed to build up quite a, I've changed this single story into a three story and each area I've got a big chunk of gameplay here. I've got an entire game floor here and I've got some gaming inside as well. Okay, so again, I think these two packs, uh, these add-ons are probably really good for uh, meaning that when you game, when you when you get your stuff out and you're like, this is a scenario I want, I don't want that road to go into nowhere, I don't want this to happen, you can grab those parts and basically just um, flex up your set, you know, have, have a massive amount of flexibility. Um, and it's all, it's all born out of the core set, okay? Um, these are core components that are in the set, but the expansion gives you the flexibility, which is really, really good. Um, and we can do that quite early because the tooling is already there, um, and so we're gonna we're gonna drive those out pretty quick, sharp if we can. So there you go. That's uh, the two add-ons: the floor tiles, uh, roof tiles, various things in there, and you get some other cool stuff in there as well. When you get roof uh, floor um, roof tile. Roof tiles, you get a crate, okay, which is on there. You get these little trims on there, some other bits and pieces. I think you get the extra billboard as well. Billboard guys. These are just these are just fantastic. Um, I, I don't know what it is about billboards. I think they're brilliant. Um, I think it's the the stuff behind the the gubbins, the snipering aspect from the top of a rooftop. Fantastic. So I think that and there might be some other little bits and pieces in there as well. Can't remember. Okay. So we're going to make those available, um, and that'd be really really cool. Last thing I want to uh, talk about really is scale. There's a lot of people talking about well, what's the scale? Well, of course, the scale is 28 to 32 millimeter. Absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. So when we're talking about uh, uh, scales, as it were, I wanted to give you an idea because people are like, well, what about you know 35 millimeter? Um, very popular game um, that people like to play with that particular one. All I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the miniatures that um, that we actually that I've actually got here um, for uh, what we've already been filming and just basically play testing with um, uh, over some time. So, sip of tea. Mm. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, and then let's have a look. So, what we've got, we've got, first of all, we've got this nice um, vehicle. This is the Halo vehicle you saw uh, uh, a minute ago. This is the uh, Halo Clicks uh, range, as it were. Other models are available. Um, and and these are pretty, this is a pretty big figure, so if I grab my ruler Okay, I'm going to measure from base up so you get you just get the mini and I'm measuring this now 
This guy is 39. This guy is 39, practically 40 millimeters high. Um, and we've, we've used this guy um, on, the, uh, on, on the set as well with a, bit of, uh, uh, a little bit of halo fun, that's fine. The vehicle um, obviously fits completely fine as well. There you go, as one idea. Let's move to the fantastic Hassle Free Range. These guys are on fire. Okay, so um, this is the this is one of their guys, which is exactly, and their scales are fantastic. They really know how to do do this right. Hang on, right. So this guy, this guy is like thirty one from his feet up. This guy's like thirty one millimeters high. Okay, so and he 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 fits within there. He's one of the smaller ones, and he fits in there completely fine. Okay, if we take Drax, he's a little um, he's a little bit bigger, um, and again. You've probably seen this guy fits in doorways and all, all kinds of uh, really cool stuff. Um, Prodos, our friends at Prodos, we've got these war, war zone guys. These are big guys. This guy's 38 millimeters. Okay. Um, we we use like a, a zombie side stroke, weird sci fi mashup game. Um, we use these guys. Um, it's, it's bloody great fun to be fair. And um, yeah. The, the, these guys fit absolutely no problem at all. Okay, so this is what we've got to do. We've got to grab one of these as well, because they're just awesome. This guy, I measured this earlier and put it in the comments, but I've forgotten it. This guy is like, this guy's 34. This guy's 34 again, from feet up. Um, and you've seen in the video, they fit the terrain perfectly fine. And, and we've got, so this guy's like 40. This is a, uh, a Malifaux figure. And of course we got the awesome zombie side, which we pretty much play tested this more than any other game. Um, oh, we got uh, this guy here, who represents a particular cool character. Um, he's pretty big, 39, 39 mil. Okay, you've seen him a few times. Uh, and again, he fits completely fine. Um, all these guys, um, these guys are like 30, 32, 34. Um, actual height, scale I think is 32, I can't remember. This guy's a bit bigger, this guy's even bigger again. It, it's completely fine. Um, let me grab a door, standard door, and whether it's a wide doorway or whether it's um, whatever kind of doorway that we produce, the doorways are always set to the maximum they can be, um, allowing for the, the card to still be sturdy at its weakest points. So, and these are a 38, I think, high. Uh, and that's from the bottom, from the bottom of the door to the top of the inside of the frame there. You've got 38, you know. So, you know, even, even the big sort of, that 34 millimeter kind of figure, he fits in there even with his, his uh, couple of mils or one point uh, to a two and a half mil base, etc. Completely fine, no problem whatsoever. Um, and it's the same for, for, for these ones well, as well. The actual walls themselves are 55, which again is, is massive because you know there's 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 no there's no issues with getting your guy uh, you know any of these models being quite happy inside. This guy with his arms all over the place, he's 40 mil. And you can see there's plenty of room inside the buildings too. Um, so you're going to have no problems with, I, I, I don't think you're going to have any problems with uh, the much bigger 35 millimeters as well. It is for 28 to 32, but um, you know, measuring through these guys and looking at the scales and stuff, I know that's not exactly how it works scale wise. Um, that's the representative scale of the average human and then you get the heroic characters. But I think scale wise, um, we're completely fine. I've got a 40 mil higher figure there. He, he's great. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that's answered some of the more burning questions about flexibility, um, about a couple of sort of building things there, but also uh, about the scale of the miniatures as well, which is really, really cool. So there we go. What's happening at the moment? We've just, we've just um, hit uh, quite an important stretch goal. The, we've got the police precinct up. Um, if you haven't seen that already, jump to the last update we emailed you. Jump on the the, the uh, have a look at that update. It really tells you uh, this is this is a great one. I mean, this is just this is just perfect. And we're going to keep trying to head down this road as far as the add-ons are concerned to give you a massive amount of flexibility. 
um, that's really useful. Um, you can jump in and uh, check that out and grab one of those. Also, um, we've got the two new add-ons that, that we spoke about. And again, the next two um, stretch goals we've got are more free stuff. So far, apart from the police, uh, the police precinct, we've literally just given you as much free stuff as we possibly can. And just like our other Kickstarters, we continue to do that. Um, so that's really cool. Lastly, guys, um, looking at some of the stats, the you really are driving um, uh, the Kickstarter project with your post that you're making, when you're sharing um, the post that we make, when you're um, speaking on the forums, we're starting to see this coming through to us um, and the interest is really growing. If you've got a game that you play on this, whichever game it is, then um, yeah, please do um, uh, share it with your friends, share it with the community and let them know that, we're, that, that, that we're, um, we've got this terrain available for, you know, and, and, it, and it works for so many different game types. Um, the, the, as with Kickstarter, the more that we can do, the more that we can, uh, the more that we can progress through the campaign, the more great free stuff that we can give, the more expansions, like on the dungeon we ended up with the fortress, um, the, the, the big climax to the Kickstarter. We want to drive that again. We've got some great new stuff coming, not just within this, uh, within the post-apocalypse, the urban post-apocalypse um, uh, genre, but you know we've got some stuff we might want to show you in the future. As far as you know, what happens when you know these are the big towns. This is the big towns where there's a lot of built-up stuff um, in an apocalypse in environment. The, the 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 cities are actually quite dangerous places to be. Buildings are falling down a lot. People tend to move out of the, of the cities a little bit and set up their own little areas. So we've got some ideas for that, um, and um, hopefully some fun stuff on the way. So help us, help us move into that area. We'd be very grateful. Um, we want to give you as much as we possibly can. Guys, I've done enough talking. My tea's nearly done. So selfishly, I'm going to need another one of those. Um, great, jump on the comments. Thanks for everything so far. What a fantastic campaign already. And um, I look forward to seeing where we're going to go with this. Okay, cheers guys. Oh, happy gaming. dungeon terrain all over the world. Now it's time for the next evolution. I'm actually sweated. <laughs> this particular genre has been much requested by our community. This is a